Module 7 Tempo Religious Art, the Todaiji, dated to 752, and Secular Art. I, Dr. Rita Pratap, former head of the department, Drawing and Painting, University of Rajasthan, Jaipur. In 1743, Emperor Shomu vowed to cast a massive Rushana Buddha, the universal light Varikona. In 1745, this project was started and all the copper in the land was commandeered for the massive statue which towered over 14 meters high. Thereafter, for centuries, bronze casting was seized. In this project, a huge amount of money and labor were extracted. An estimated 10% of the populace, down to the poorest beggars, contributed in some way or another. 50,000 carpenters and over 3 lakh 70,000 metal smiths were employed. Though the casting had begun at Shomu's palace grounds in Shigaraki, but after numerous failures, the site was changed to Nara in 745. And after four years, the work was completed. The largest wooden structure in the world was built around it. Its front of 11 bays was some 73 meters across and tied into a cloister of 154 bays. Twin pagodas, three times the height of the Horyuji pagoda, soared 100 meters into the air. The huge great Buddha hall of Todaiji followed this scheme. 23, 23, 26, 29, 30. 29, 26, 23, 23. In Japan, Todaiji compound is the largest with its numerous halls, gates and sub-temples. It also dominated the new capital of Hijio, Nara. In 752, the monastery and the great Buddha of Nara was dedicated in a spectacular ceremony attended by every member of the court and the clergy. But after half a century, its power proved too much for the government, which was forced to seek yet another site for the capital. The Dai Butsu Den or Hall of Great Buddha, housing the badly mutilated Great Buddha. The Great Buddha of Nara, which seen today, has been reworked number of times. And the Buddha Hall is a reduced and squared off version of its once magnificent proportions. For a glimpse of the original great Buddha in all its splendor of gold leaf gilt, we must resort to two slightly later works. That is, these statues were made in gilded dry lacquer as no more copper was available. In Todaiji, the Senju cannon, the thousand armed cannon is here portrayed with innumerable arms and with eleven heads on his headdress to express his omnipotent and all-seeing nature. The lecture hall of Todaiji, a seven by four bay hall, is structurally simple and has an earth floor and has an earth floor. The building of Todaiji's width in Shaka follow this scheme that is 11, 13, 15, 16, 15, 13, 11 to the Varikona Buddha's right is in this wood core 
dry lacquer medium. Over three times the height of man, it is inevitably frontal because of the need to exhibit his three banks of arms, six of normal size, 34 of secondary size and remainder as small hands on copper wires. A further 47 have vanished. The impressive interior of the golden hall of Todaiji Nara. Head of Fukuken Jaku, the Fukuken Jaku cannon of 746 is the main statue of Todaiji Hokkaido Lotus Hall, sub temple commonly called the, the Sangat Sudo third month hall, so called because it was used for scripture reading in the third month. It stands nearly 4 meters tall and probably the work of the sculptors responsible for the great Buddha headed by Kuni Naka Muraji Kimimaro. It is an eight armed bodhisattva whose third left hand holds a rope to symbolize the hunting and fishing for salvation of souls. As the bodhisattva towers over a high wooden pedestal, its majestic serene face is usually missed by the viewers. The cheeks and chin are full but not heavy. The long slanted eyes are modeled with curved upper lids which give them a gentle loving expression beneath arched and bewealed brows. A vertical third eye is partially open in the forehead and a black pearl decorates the spot between the brows. The mouth is modulated and full with upper and lower lips in symmetrical M and W shapes which echo the curves of the rest of the face. The elaborate silver crown is embedded with thousands of precious stones, pearls, agate and crystals and is so swathed with chains holding carved beads in the antique Magatama shape. In the middle stands the 20 centimeter silver Amida, Buddha whose hands spread in the mudra of bestowing peace of mind. On the whole, canon reflects tongue features whereas Amida's face shows vestigial traces of Koguryo mean in the eyes and two sharp points rising in the center of the upper lip. The other statue which may indicate some original features of the great Buddha is in the golden hall, Kondo of Tosho Daiji west of Nara. Rushana Buddha statue in Tosho Daiji was 4 meter high and was made of gilded dry lacquer in 759. Originally, there were 1000 seated Buddhas on 32 clusters, most of which are still in place. The Rushana Buddha's face is more heavily set than that of the Sangha Studo Canon and the neck fold are modeled around a dropped chin. The eyes look down from under thick curved lids and slant to the nose in an expression more severe than compassionate, more lordly than tender. The original great Buddha of Todaiji was designed to be Emperor Shomu's symbol of state and may well have combined qualities of these two works. Todaiji scene showing the great Buddha in the Shigisan NG narrative hand scroll of the 12th century. In this hand scroll, one can see still more 
of its architectural details and emotional impact. In a time sequence vignette like those of the Tamamushi shrine, Jataka, a pilgrim nun, is shown several times during her night at Todaiji. The colossal built bronze Buddha towers benignly over her as she prays for the divine guidance. The eleven bays have slatted door panels which open inwards and seem taller than the four square door panels of today's reduced edifice of seven bays. The total impression of the old building was horizontal, not square, and the impact of the statue must have been immediate when it was placed. As illustrated here squarely in the middle of the space with little to hinder the spectator's view. Pagoda of Horyuji, Nara In the plan of Horyuji complex at Nara consists of western area, main south gate, middle gate, golden hall, five storied pagoda, hall of the sutra, bell hall, lecture hall, treasury eastern area, octagonal hall, site of Ikaruga Dera and Chuguji. The pagoda of Horyuji Nara consists of the Nehan, Pari Nirvan or death of Buddha. Besides this, it consists of some 90 clay statues telling stories from the life of Buddha. The oldest date from 711 while others are later replacements. Paintings in the Shosho in repository Todaiji. In 756, the treasury of the great temple at Todaiji was erected. It houses one of the largest and most ancient collections of arts and crafts in the world. In the same year, Shomu died and his pious empress presented the treasures of his court to the temple of Buddha. She donated as an act of piety to contribute to his peaceful rest which were placed in a large timber storehouse. There are 240 musical instruments, 164 mask gigaku, 57 pieces of the family of three color pottery, 3,763 arrows, over 60,000 gems and tons of thousands of textiles. 60 bronze mirrors, the three color wear, Sansai, was copied from the Chinese Tang style. Dark blue glass vase imported from Asia or further west. The Shosho in repository of the Todaiji monastery give a lively and detailed picture of court life in the first half of the 8th century where they remained in perfect condition. Among the 10,000 precious relics in Shosho Inn is a large square of hemp cloth on which a bodhisattva is freely sketched in ink. In a sweeping brush line like that for which the tongue master Wu Tao Zhu was famous. The other original inventory listed is the 100 screens of these only. One painted specimen remains. On each of its six panel is depicted handsome lady, plump after the fashion of the time, standing or sitting beneath a tree. It is one of the many examples in North China caves at Tien Lung Shan. The largest single category of articles retained in the Sosho Inn is the enormous store of fabrics. They represent all known techniques of brocades, twills, gauzes and silk tapestries. They were used for costumes, bags, pillows, 
covers and in many other ways. Vegetable dyes were used in red, yellow, purple, blue, green and brown. Along with weaving, dye decorating by wax resist, stencil and tie dyeing. Highly florid forms of the lotus in medallions are popular among others are honeysuckle, grapes, paired animals and trees. An example is of an embroidery showing peacock and flowering plants. It is in Sosho in Todaiji Nara. Eight-lobed bronze mirror with inlaid decoration of amber and mother of pearl. Detail of a mirror's decoration of flowers and animals. Board for the game of Go. Inlaid and lacquered wood, the sound boxes of the stringed instruments were either painted or inlaid with lacquer and colored stones. Decorating a fine stringed is a musician riding on the back of a saddled bacterian camel and playing a four stringed instrument with a plectrum beaver and plectrum guard, tortoise shell inlaid with mother of pearl, Shosho in Todaiji Nara. The camel turns his head back, eyeing the rider with a trace of dismay on his face. This mother of pearl inlay on tortoise shell occurs on a five-stringed instrument known as beaver. The Tosho Daiji is a major symbol of the reforms instigated by Emperor Shomu. He felt that the Buddhist clergy of the time had become too less and sent Japanese monks to China to find a leader who would purify and revitalize religious practice. After years of searching, they found Master Ganjin, Qian Chen in Chinese, who, when his disciples showed unwillingness to travel such distances to an undeveloped land, took on the mission himself. At the age of 67, in 753, he arrived in Japan after a disastrous seven years journey, during which he was blinded. In 762, Ganjin ordained a group of monks and nuns in the courtyard of Todaiji in the presence of the emperor and the imperial court. Ganjin, dated to 688 to 763. This is a bust of the blind monk Ganjin. It was created by using the dry lacquer technique. It is preserved in the Todaiji Nara, the temple which Genjin, a Chinese monk, founded in 755, who settled in Japan. He was the leading figure in the early history of Todaiji and a recognized authority on Chinese secular culture as well. His image, like images of other monks, renowned for their holiness and their accomplishments was considered an aid to worship and right living. This image of Genjin as a life-size seated priest stimulated the practice of portraiture in Japan. Priest Gyoshin, the builder of the eastern sub-temple of Horyuji, whose image sits in the octagonal Yumi Dono executed the work at the request of the Empress in 739. But the documents speak of his associated monks praying for him between 767 and 770, presumably when he was ill and his sharply realistic statue may have been created then. The surface of the statue of Genjin is now rough and uneven as a result of early 19th century repairs following a fire. 
paper mache was applied over its three to six layers of lacquered hemp cloth. Arms of wood were attached and painting largely redone. Genjin has a determined set, his face creased from the nose to the outer edges of the mouth, jowls heavy, eyes closed and literally unseen, haunched shoulder belying his age more than his face and the robe fully furnished on the back. The skin of the figure has a slight yellowish tinge. The eyebrows are painted in as a moustache here and the subtle of the beard. But without that peculiarity which show his characteristic of later types of Japanese realism from the time it was made. The portrait of priest Genjin had much influence on Japanese art and the portrait sculptor of the Kamakura period was to some degree inspired by it. Tempo secular art, there were imperial clothing, prayer beads, swords and ornaments, musical instruments such as flutes, the double receded Chiao Sheng, the transverse flute and the plucked string instrument called Kin. Chinese board games such as go, bows, arrows, quivers, arms and saddles. Inner chambers were hung with textile and furnished with mirrors. Standing screens, portable shrines, masks for musical performances, baskets, cabinets, flower vases and hanging incense burners, brushes and writing tools. Example of calligraphy by the emperor, the empress and after the Chinese sage of calligraphy, Wang Chi were also dedicated and preserved to this day. Kofukuji Nara, the checkered history of the Kofukuji, the 15th century five-story pagoda, now Japan's second largest, is the fifth on the spot included the thoughtless disposal of four of the great disciples to private collectors and all were tragically destroyed in the great Kanto earthquake of 1923. The hall was erected in 734 and one assumes that the figures were made at the same time and the platform image was in the same technique for an old record complains that the cost of the statues surpassed that of the building. Here a full set of family of shaka, dry lacquered images housed in the West Golden Hall. These consisted of the customary platform sculptures of the Buddha Bodhisattvas, four heavenly kings and probably a pair of monk-like interiors, but these all have been disappeared. Around them were the ten great disciples, Judai Deshi, the eight guardians, Hachi Bushu and portable total of 27 statues. Kinnara, one of the eight guardians of Shaka is painted in dry lacquer, slightly smaller than life size and at present in the Kofuku G Nara. Karura is also one of the eight guardians painted in dry lacquer, slightly smaller than life size and at present in Kofuku G Nara. Todaiji Nara, over 10,000 objects were donated to the great Buddha Todaiji during the 8th and early 9th centuries by the court. It is a treasure house of arts to be found along the Silk Road which linked China to the Mediterranean and offers the present day observer clear examples 
of those styles which Japanese artists accepted, rejected or modified. Another example is the painting which shows a clear Chinese influence on the plectrum guard of a biwa loot made up of sheet and wood decorated with marquetry and painted dated 756. Two gentlemen have paused momentarily. One is in the midst of writing to gaze upon the cliff to the left and are lost in a state of communion with nature. The image has faded, only drawing made from infrared photography now reveal the basic outlines. The scene is typically tongue with the emphasis on awesome beetling scenery. The peaks are adorned with trees. Their ornamental forms spread out against the sky and cliffs. The painting is fluid with few straight lines or harsh forms and suggests harmony between the two watching figures of the natural scene. Map of Todaiji Presnitz Detail it is a light color on hemp, north is at the bottom. This large map of the presence of Todaiji painted in 756 offers another glimpse of how knowledge of Chinese landscape painting was used. The sharply rising cliffs of the previous examples are here replaced by gently rolling hillocks like those of the Yamato Plains. These gentle outlines later became the hallmark of native Yamato painting. The trees on the top of the hills do not pierce the sky like those on the Biva plectrum and are rendered by thick lines in soft curves. They do not cover the entire hill but are scattered irregularly over the central portions. On the Chinese style Peltram painting, the trees are evenly spread in the Middle Eastern manner, whereas the Todaiji map disperses the elements in an irregular and natural manner. The map incidentally shows us the main buildings of Todaiji in 756. Two L-shaped red brackets show the front of the main or the great Buddha hall. Two squarish ink outlines at the sides are the east and west pagodas. Already a clear change from the Horuji plan which had only one pagoda. Ink painting of entertainers on a long bow. Lacqua on catalpa wood from Emperor Shomu's treasure before 756. This example of the impressive style is the set of a deftly painted ink figures on the inside of a bow with 96 acrobats, jugglers, musicians and dancers caught in mid-action. The faces reveal different personalities and moods. The strong man balancing four children on top of his head stands with eyes closed in concentration while the children look wearily down. The man balancing four other children on a cross beard pole has just taken a step. His efforts is clearly visible while the children show absorption in what they are doing. The onlookers express emotions which range from curiosity to concern. Lower down, musicians accompany a dance. The artist has exploited the narrowness of the format by diagonally linking the last person on one group with the first person of the next by eye contact. The development of this style was carried to extraordinary expressive heights in the succeeding Hian period. Details of the heads of Kocho Ten and Chikoku Ten 
from the four heavenly kings group in Kaidan Inn in the Todaiji Nara. The four heavenly kings, their feet resting on demons, are guardians of Buddhist law. They wear armor and control the four points of the compass. The Hokeko Do or Sangatsu Do, the site of scripture reading in the third month, has a display of 14 images in mixed technique. They stand in the north of the building, among which is Gaiko, the Bodhisattva of sunlight, 8th century Todaiji Nara. The statue is made up of colored clay, seems to have been created as an image of Brahma, at that time identified with Gaiko. The Japanese and Continental Influences At this point, one has to consider the remarkable speed with which the Japanese assimilated continental culture stimuli, particularly Buddhism. It was not a matter of sudden and overwhelming direct or indirect contact. There had been frequent contacts for millennia. Massive cultural receptivity in the Asuka period therefore may reflect a new Japanese realization of national inadequacy in the face of an urban continental culture and a compensatory urgent desire for international respectability. In the tempo period, the Japanese wholeheartedly adopted Chinese culture, Buddhism and statecraft. Administrative and court rituals were regulated on continental models. Court wear changed from Korean to Chinese. Palaces were built in continental style with tiled roofs, bright crimson pillars and slate floors. All these imports were, however, no more than an external covering draped over Japanese framework. Not all parts fitted the original mammoth Great Buddha Hall of Todaiji, for example, based as it was on Chinese imperial scale and requiring the removable of entire hills to provide the site must have been drastically out of proportion with the surrounding Yamato hills. In spite of the new regard for external prestige when it came to personal habits, native preferences remained strong. In particular, Chinese food and eating habits were rejected. Later even within the Chinese style palace compound in Hian Ko, the emperor's private quarters, dairy retained the Japanese tradition of cedar bark roofs and pillars of plain undecorated wood. The same contrast can be seen in the Tosho Daiji, Kondo and Kodo built in the later half of the 8th century. The Kondo shows Chinese solidity, symmetry and grandeur. The picture here shows Kondo, Golden Hall of Tosho Daiji, Tang style, late 8th century. The roof has since been raised. Another picture is of Kodo Lecture Hall of Tosho Daiji is more Japanese in its historical emphasis, belongs to late 8th century. Its present roof soars some 15 feet higher than the original, however, destroying the previous impact of power and vigor. Across the court stands the lecture hall Kodo, whose simplicity and horizontally stressed by the slender pillars are typical examples of Japanization. Originally part of the Hijo Palace, it was donated to Tosho Daiji and moved there in the late 8th century when the fortunes of that monastery warned. Although now tiled, the ridge is extended to run nearly the entire length of the roof. 
a Shinto characteristic and is gabbled at each end to soften the drop of the ease. Even in the face of persistent continental influence, such examples of indigenous traits preserved. It is obviously possible to import major aspects of another people's material culture, but it is not possible simultaneously to import every one of its social and spiritual attitude. The same situation exists today, where an intensive effort is made to assert Japan's international image in the art world. Artists with an international image are sent to exhibitions abroad, but those who create works uninfluenced by the large world, however accomplished and original, are ignored at home and excluded from publicity abroad. This desire for parity with external powers may have its genesis in the tempo period of self-discovery and self-assessment.